nothing new. Thought it through. Had your bill laid me to waste. 8 a.m. I was on my way. Then you said, How do you like All right, give it up for one of my sisters. <laughs> Where are you from? Yeah, I know your name. Twice. We went on tour together twice. Marisa rhymes with Teresa. Marisa Minnie. Give it up. Thank you. This is a song about struggling with infertility. It's called High FSH Blues. Show four years ago. So yeah, and um, 
You're guitar playing too. Like, I mean, come on. You teach guitar. Do you still teach? I, I do teach. I, I teach kids in Weston, Connecticut, and Fairfield. All right. Nice. Yeah. And um, what else have you been writing these days? I've loved that. I'm so sorry. No, that was nothing. Uh, God, well, that I wrote, I wrote another one. I was going to play until, like, the last minute. I love that song, though. Eggs, yeah. eggs, eggs. You have another song about eggs. I do have a song. Well, actually, this one's called High Up Sage Blue. The other one's called Eggs, and it's a totally different vibe. It's, like, my free, you know, marriage material. Yeah, <laughs> but um, her songs are incredible. I loved watching you every night twice. For, Me, too. Yeah, we got to go on tour. It was tonight. amazing. And we, we really lucked out with that. Like you learn like all each you learn each other's songs, you start singing on stage, and we really? share drummers, yeah. Yeah, we got lucky two times. And um, I don't know if we'll go again like that, but you never know. I you know what? When my kids are in kindergarten, I, I'm up for another tour. Yeah, kindergarten oh, is where it all happens, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Mine were little then, but I know. They were like in, in grade school. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> they were. Or something, maybe? maybe. Yeah, I mean, I just said, yeah, let's do it. Well, my two-year-old, he's like, he loves Bob Marley. It's so funny. Like, we we were in uh, Montauk on vacation, and we went to this bar, and there was this guy with dreads playing, and he, my son became like, you know, he sung Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to him, and he was just like, the man, the man, I want to see the man. So I looked this guy up. He's not on the internet. So he kind of looked like Bob Marley, the, like the tone of his skin, his voice, his dreads. So we convinced my two-year-old that the man was Bob Marley. Oh, <laughs> Here's your lollipop. That is, that is dangerous. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, he, so he, now, he, now he listens to like Bob Marley videos. So that's and why them. he listens to yeah. Bob Marley. He's like, it's the man. It's the man. And today he just started singing with like his brother's sword. Like, it's, uh, like, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It's very cute. Well, you know, did you ever go to Jamaica? Oh, God, I wish. No, I, I miss that. Well, if you more. did, they sing every single song in reggae, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, like eggs, like any song, Hippie Baby One More Time, name a song that they sing it in reggae. It's like, so, it is, everything. It's, it's, have you been to Jamaica? In my living room every day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. I hope it's not my time in their ears. I just went to Jamaica five minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> that's where you went. There's more to Jamaica than that. Come There's on. more yeah. Jamaica where that came from. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have a skeleton, Marisa? You know, I thought about this on the way here. I'm so I'm so lame these days. I, I told you that I, I I ran a cheating ring in high school. <laughs> Last time, okay. um, I cut class when I was in sixth grade. I don't, I don't know. I used to give Robitussin to all the boys in the neighborhood when I was fifteen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I gave somebody X lax once, so I can relate. I told them it was a uh, Hershey bar. Uh, uh, that's so funny. We actually never saw that kid again. It was the last day of, of school in second, eighth grade, and he. Wait, they don't call it X anymore. Can they call it something else? He might have cracked himself into thin air. I don't know. Wait, what did he call it? What? I, I don't know. X yeah, like, there's like an X-Lax chocolate bar. I don't know. They, they probably stopped making them. X-Lax. I thought you meant something else. Yeah, they probably stopped making them because of me. You never people know. People like me. I kept telling people you. Yeah, you never know. But Robitussin, and they probably loved you. Yeah, yeah, it was all the boys in the Doc Martens. Yeah, that's the kind of I liked back then. So what would you say? Yeah, like, Trump this? Yeah, what? They had a lot of cults, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I actually didn't at the time. I was like, oh, they must be sick. Well, I do remember when we stayed at your mother's house once oh, on tour, and you were saying, oh, that's the tree that I did this at. That's yeah, the yeah. That there I... were lots of trees. In so my were those house. the places that you did row with us? No, I would literally, like, like it's so funny. I just remember one memory, this, like, guy, like, I was at this mad crush on this, like, skinhead boy, um, and his friend was like, do you have any... Robitussin? I was like, yeah, he must have a pop. And like, later I see them going to the car. And then another, and then one of his other friends, I guess, heard about this, that I was giving out Robitussin. Didn't they know they could just buy it? I they don't have money. Oh, right, they don't have money. <laughs> they needed it from you. That's money. Did, did you have a favorite flavor? Like, was there, because I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm really lame. Like, I don't even like to take like, when I got my C-section, I only wanted to take Advil. Like, I don't really... Yeah. I'm, I'm so lame. Like, my biggest drug is food. It's not. Like, yeah. 
As you know. Yeah, I do, but nobody else would. It's the nursing, man, I'll tell you. It works. Yeah, there you go. So what's the website that you want people to really check out? I want everyone to go to rockmommy.com. Rockmommy.com. Yes, and if you know a rockin' mom who wants to be interviewed for my site, please uh, find me on Facebook, email me, like at rockmommy1 on Facebook, and rockmommyrules on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Because she is a rock mommy. July 20th, stay tuned, Patty Rockford and Just Jill, we'll be right back. What was this, you wanted And who? What's that you say? There's a quirky, cool new internet show. Featuring rising stars.